Hey guys, this is a quick tutorial for setting up Plex Connect on Mac OS. Now I'm currently running uh, Mountain Lion, I think, um, but it also works on Mavericks and Yosemite, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Alright, first things first, um, there's a link in the description, which is that exact link there. If you just want to copy it or click on it and open it up in your browser, Now it'll load up this page. Once we scroll down, we're going to download OpenPlex. It's basically an OS application which allows you to install Plex Connect and it does all the config for you, so it's pretty nifty. So wait for this to download. Should be pretty quick. There we go. Now I found if you click on the downloads and try and open it from here, sometimes you'll get a message saying that it's untrusted, can't open. Um, in that case, you can right click and go open and you'll get a similar screen to this and it allows you to bypass it. So click on open, minimize that to get that out of the way, click on the little bouncing thing. Installing OpenPlex, we'll download Python, patch your system firewall if needed, this may take some time depending on your ISP, sure. Chuck in your password. and it's going to start downloading in the background. So I might just pause the video here while it does this and it should pop up with uh, another window shortly. After two minutes or so it's come up with this little status bar. Uh, no OpenPlex folder detected. This will take quite some time to install. Okay, go for it. Once again it's going to work in the background um, so I'm just going to pause the video here. You can see my time at the top for how long it's taking me so keep an eye on that if you want to if you get a bit antsy with your install, if you think it's taking too long. Um, so yeah. Alright guys, after about 20 or so minutes, I finally got a pop-up asking me for OpenPlex installer wants my password, so sure you can have it. And it's going to continue to install in the background, so let's give it a few more minutes. Just got to be patient, I guess. I kind of regret saying that this would be a quick install at the start of this video. But uh, I'm sure we'll get there. Well, that didn't too long. Um, Plex icons bopping up and down. Open Plex successfully installed. Click icon located in your menu bar. You can delete the installer app after you click OK. Sure. OK. I'll just delete this little fella. Alrighty. In my menu bar. There it is there. Control click to quit. I might just double click it and here are our options. Alright, we're going to have to set a theme so let's just install the original theme. There's a few others you can choose from. Use them at your own discretion. They're all got fancy fan art and all that type of stuff but for now we'll just install the default one. Installing basic theme, sure. Go for it. I think that'll spin and we can't navigate to any other tabs while it's doing that, so we might just wait for it. I might just pause it here again. Alrighty, IBAA's theme has been installed. Awesome. Now let's try and click on no search present. Click hijack. Alrighty, hijack. And depends on which one you want to use. So we're going to use the trailers one application in this. Creating trailer certificates is needed, if needed, and setting hijack to trailers. OK. Uh, so it'll automatically create your certificates in the background now. So I'll wait for this little progress bar to finish. Shouldn't take too long. I don't think I'm going to bother pausing. No, cool. General inserts, choose app on Apple TV. Alrighty, now under extras, we've got settings here that you can adjust if you like, but I'm not going to bother at this point in time. So I'm going to go back to the Settings tab and click on the Plex Connect Log button, bottom left, and you'll get something similar to this. So you can see that it's already started and it's running on this IP address. So if I'm, at the moment, I'm just going to close this and also close that, and I'm going to stop it. Click on Stop. And you'll see Plex Connect status is now turned off. So while that's stopped, sorry about that, just had a bit of an issue with my team viewer session. Alright, so while Plex Connect is stopped, I'm just going to go into my network settings. 
and basically what we're going to do is we're going to set a static IP so basically this computer is always going to have the same IP address so our Apple TV knows where it is so at the moment it's just going to get one from the router which is DHCP I'm going to change that to manual and as you saw before it already had the IP address 192.168.0.7 so I might have just copy that Paste. Cool. So, okay. Apply. Alrighty, and close that. I'll move this back in the middle. It's just gonna lag for a second because of my terrible team viewer session. So, just bear with me. I don't know why it's so slow with moving it. Alrighty, now we can start back up Plex. Big play button. And there you go, it's green. So we can actually close that, and it's running in the background, which is a good thing. So if I double click on that again, it'll bring it up again and show me that it's still running. So we can close that. All right, so all the other config is done on the Apple TV. So I'll get that set up and we'll get this finished off. Alrighty, now I've finally got my Apple TV set up and updated to the latest version, 7.0.3 and I've got the plexconnect.log file on the screen as well just so you can see the traffic as it comes in. So first things first on your Apple TV, just go to settings, general, network, uh, click on your network, so I'm on Wi-Fi at the moment so I'll just click on Wi-Fi and again Alrighty, so in this section you'll have the, uh, your IP automatically automatically configured. You can leave that as normal. Uh, in the DNS section you want to change it from automatic down to manual. Uh, and now you're going to want to change it to the IP address that we specified before. So as you can see in the traffic log, mine is serving HTTPS on 192.168.0.7. So that's what I'm going to change this to. Six. Lucky number seven. Alrighty, and then as I go out of that, we can scroll down to send data to Apple and press on the play button. Alright, now we enter the hidden profile section and we want to click on add profile. Uh, click on OK. And it's got a whole bunch of stuff in there at the moment, so I'm just going to clear that out. Now the URL that we're going to type in is displayed on the screen at the moment, so I'm not going to read it out. Let me just type that in, pardon me if I'm very slow. So it's http two dot slash slash trailers dot apple dot com slash trailers dot c e r. Click on submit, and you'll see the trailers dot apple dot com there. So now, when we go out, we can click on trailers, and you'll see the traffic starting to flow in. Um, the Plex Connect doc log. So as soon as I've gone to the trailer section, it started scanning my entire network for Plex Media Service, and it's found one. And now it's displaying on on my Apple TV, as you can see. All right, guys, that's basically it. If you have any problems or questions, please let me know, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.